Shoots nice. That's what I say. It shoots pretty smooth, don't it? Yeah. Holds a lot more rounds than a regular 1911, so that's always nice. Brian Little. <laughs>so we got a new toy today we got the american classic xb uh metro arms this is imported by eagle imports this is a 1911 uh 14 plus one uh i haven't got a chance to shoot it yet that's what we're about to do today but it is your everything about a 1911 as far as features and exposure it has uh let's get it out here let's run it let's see what we got so far it does feel good in the hands and it's a steel frame gun obviously it does have aluminum grips it is comfortable to hold this is a five inch uh barrel it's I mean, it's it's not over oversized. It is meaty. You know, you're gonna know what's in your hand. Uh, the trigger seems responsive, seems crisp. All right. So this is supposed to, by the advertising, be close to competition style out the box. Doesn't have competition sights on it. It'd probably be one of the first things I would want to change out. But the important part is if the gun runs. So we're gonna be looking to see if this gun performs and if it runs. You can look at a gun all day long, but Eagle Imports has been putting out some quality stuff. You normally don't hear about these firearms all the time, so we're going to start changing that. We're going to make sure you get exposed to some different things that are on the market that could be high quality, maybe a little bit more affordable, depending on what bracket you jump into. All right, all right this is going to be first mags out of American Classic XV. Let's see what we got. Let me shoot another rubber dummy here, guys, so you're not going to get any audibles. Tell you what, the trigger is nice, much nicer than I thought it was going to be. The trigger is actually pretty sweet. Um, the gun shot, shot fine, shot smooth. It ran the mag, no problems, no hiccups. Got to shoot it some more, man. But I'll tell you what, for a first mag impression, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, so if you very well know if you've shot 1911s extensively at all, you know that sometimes hollow points can be an issue. So we're going to run some hollows out of this thing. I think about the only thing that I would change out is the sights right away. Uh, but other than that, man, I like it. 